sup? <laughs> uh, I'm trying something slightly new. I am I'm going to draw and talk at the same time. I very rarely do that and also upload it, so it's crazy. Uh, right now I'm just kind of mixing colors, trying to see what- what the fuck? Whoops. To see what I like, because I'm trying to do a painting of Dorothea. Which, if you don't know, she is from Three Houses. I'm just kind of trying to see what I want to put in the painting. Um, I don't really, I, I find her color palette and her aesthetics kind of bland, I'm, so I'm trying to figure out how to spice that up. Actually, I want to clarify, I don't mean they're just bland generally, but like compared to a character like Hilda, who's so pink heavy, like I can find really fun ways for me to paint that. And like different stuff to mix that with. Um, Dorothy is just kind of like normal looking. Like she's a person that you would see in real life. And like there's the gold of her earrings, which I'm really interested in using. And like maybe how I can mix that subtly with reds and pinks. I don't usually do this, but I'm like really struggling with how to do her justice because I love her. I love her character and her story. And since I'm painting her, I want to actually make something cool. And I kind of like the vibe of this. So I want to do some smudging to kind of like blend her into the canvas and also focus on these colors. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm also doing a different painting technique where I'm going over on a separate layer and not blending everything together, but I think I'm gonna stop doing that. I made a duplicate of this file, so if I don't like what I'm doing, I can just go back. I know, this does not look much like her right now, but hopefully it'll get there. It's in that stage where nothing looks quite right, but... I have faith, so good enough. I'm also painting with my canvas painter brush, which I haven't used in a little while and I want to get more use out of. This is a texture that I find can be kind of complicated to use, actually. Especially small like that, because it's just kind of like these big bubbles if you do it too small. But if you layer different strokes and colors on top of each other, it can make something interesting. That's too dark and too purple. I'm also adding in some of the structure of the face. Like, I add that a lot in the sketch, but I end up kind of blending out in like really mass amounts, so I lose some of that structure. Also, fun thing that's really cool and I'm super excited about, I had a phone interview with a college today that went super cool and I got to talk about art and that was so much fun. Um, the college has rolling admissions so I won't be going until what is it? 2021? Fall of 20... yeah fall of 2021 um, if I get in and I'm very much hoping that I will because I like this college. I'm 
fixing these eyes because not big enough. No, they're messed up. Ugh. I'm not crazy, right? Those that looks really bad. It was a lot of extra work just to paint over it with the canvas brush. I'm actually gonna switch. Whoops. this out so I did entirely lose my train of thought I might come back to that later okay that's better I'm kind of going back and like cementing her expression and just making sure it's all right before I go any further with the painting process. Like, I want to fix this brow a little bit. And just make it higher, and like, have her expression be a little more cheery. I don't think her head is big enough. I'm just gonna mess with- oh. I have to make the canvas bigger before I do that. Okay. Now I'm just going back and fixing what I messed up when I changed the head size. I tend to get really distracted while I'm painting by other parts of the painting, which is good, I think, because it keeps me from overpainting certain areas and kind of keeping it looking textured and rough in some places. Also, I know I made her complexion a little bit different, but it was not super intended, but I don't mind. I like it. <laughs> I prefer having more warmth and color. So, this is what I want to do. I want to fix the colors for a sec. So, I feel like it's a little orange. I'm gonna work with it like this for now. Yeah. I think that's good. And I'm gonna do some hair stuff. Just to kind of break away from the face for a second. So I've been working on it for about an hour and a half now. And I'm still laying down bases. So uh, this is gonna be a long one. My last few pieces have been like no less than two hours like I feel like I've been putting a lot more into them lately at least a lot more time okay I'm gonna do some eye stuff and then I'm gonna finish up for now with kind of typical eyes, like typical colors, like browns, greens, blues, I like to embellish, like add a lot of colors that 
have no business being in there. So I'm going to make these a little bit different. I see her eyes as being kind of blue-green and not yellow-green. So I'm going to play into those teals. I'm even going to add a couple standard blues. I just had an epic slip up where I said a word wrong. Uh, I just added some dimension to the eyes with some kind of sky blues. Okay, I changed my mind. I want to do some eyelashes and then I'll finish up for the night. to make the lashes one of the tones from the hair. In this case, I'm making it what is currently the lightest tone in the hair, right here. Bleh. And there are these hook shapes, and I kind of blend them in a little bit to the skin, just so that I can cement their shape. And make that what I want it to be. Okay, I am good with that, and I'm going to return to this at some point tomorrow, because I have work, so I'll do that after. And see you later.